Hello friends, in this series of video I was discussing about the experiment which proved that the DNA is a genetic material. In the last two video I discussed about the Griffith experiment and Avery's experiment. Avery and his colleagues based on the result of Griffith experiment they conducted series of experiments and they concluded that the DNA is a genetic material. But many biologists were not convinced by the evidence of the Avery's experiment. So later during 1952, Hershey and Chase with the help of this experiment, they again proved and convinced the biologist that the DNA is a genetic material. And that experiment is popularly known as Hershey and Chase experiment. So in this video, I am going to talk about Hershey and Chase experiment. Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase, they conducted this experiment with the help of a two key element. That is T2-Phage and Escherichia coli. So we will discuss about this first. First one T2-Phage. T2-Phage is a bacteriophage. Bacteriophage means it is a group of virus or virus which infects a bacteria. Bacteriophage is also known as a phage or a bacterial virus. In this experiment, this virus that is T2-Phage infects a bacteria that is Escherichia coli. And this T2-Phage structurally it looks like this. So similar to that of the other virus, even this T2-Phage is a very simple organism having only two components that is DNA and protein. As you can see in this diagram, the DNA is present at the center or core of the head region. So this is the head region and at the core or the center of the head region, one of the component of T2 phage that is DNA is present. And this DNA is found surrounded by protein capsid. Here protein is in the form of a hexagon to form a region known as a head. Just below the head, the mid part that is tail is present and this tail is also made up of a spiral protein and the tail is found attached to the head region by collar. At the base of the tail you can find a plate and it is known as a base plate. So this base plate mainly have two structure that is tail fiber and spike. It is with the help of this spike and tail fiber, the bacteriophage or virus found attach itself to bacteria. So once the virus attach itself to bacteria, it start to release its DNA or the genetic material into the bacteria. Now the bacteria receives a viral DNA. So once it receives a viral DNA, the bacteria recognize that viral DNA as its own DNA. So what happens when it recognizes it as its own DNA? It starts to replicate the viral DNA. So unknowingly, the bacteria start to make a copy of viral DNA. So that is what exactly happens when the virus or bacteriophage infects a bacteria. That is about T2-phage. In this experiment, Hershey and Chase, they culture this T2-phage in two different culture medium. One culture medium having radioactive phosphorus and another culture medium having radioactive sulfur. Why they choose only radioactive phosphorus and radioactive sulfate? It is very simple. The phosphate is present in DNA or it is a component of DNA but not a protein. On the other hand, the sulfate is present in protein or it is a component of protein but it is absent in DNA because they had doubt between protein and DNA. So with the help of this basic idea, Hershey and Chase, they beautifully designed this experiment. So when they grow few T2 phage in the medium containing radioactive phosphorus, what happens? The DNA become radioactive because this radioactive phosphorus get inculcated into the DNA. As a result, the DNA become radioactive. But the protein is non-radioactive. On the other hand, the bacteriophage which is grown in a medium containing radioactive sulfate in that the protein showed radioactivity because this radioactive sulfate get inculcated into the protein part of the 
bacteriophage because of that the protein show radioactivity but not dna okay so after culturing this t2 phage in two different culture medium they allowed them to infect the bacteria as you can see in this diagram this is a bacteriophage having radioactive labeled protein and this is a bacteriophage having radioactive dna so they allowed both this bacteriophage to infect the bacteria as soon as this bacteriophage infects this bacteria it releases its genetic material into the bacterial cell and this step is known as adsorption or infection as the infection proceeds they separate this bacterial cell from the protein coat of the virus just by blending or agitating them in a centrifuge tube using blender and that step is known as blending so the blending step is done just to remove this viral coat from the bacterial cell as this virus is just superficially attached to the bacterial cell it can be removed easily by agitating them the third step is centrifugation so in this step the centrifuge tube containing the mixture of bacterial cell and the viral coat is allowed to undergo centrifugation as a result the heavier part that is bacterial cell is settled as a precipitate in the centrifuge tube and the lighter part that is viral coat is present as a supernatant in the first set of experiment where the bacterial cells are allowed to infect by the virus having radioactive protein here the bacterial cell did not show radioactivity which suggests that the radioactive protein of this virus did not transfer to bacterial cell if it is transferred the bacterial cell which is present in the precipitate should show radioactivity but here it did not show radioactivity which suggests that the protein is not transferred to bacterial cell and the radioactivity is seen in the supernatant means the viral coat having the radioactive protein is present in the supernatant which proves that the protein is not the genetic material in the second set of experiment where the bacterial cells are allowed to infected by the virus having radioactive labeled dna shows radioactivity in the bacterial cell which suggests that this radioactive labeled dna of virus is transferred to bacterial cell so this bacterial cell have radioactive labeled dna because of that the bacterial cell which is present in the precipitate show radioactivity so from this one can conclude that the dna is a genetic material because the genetic material which is a radioactive labeled dna is transferred from virus to bacterial cell so that is how harshe and chase proved again that the dna is a genetic material so that is all about harshe and chase experiment hope this video will be useful if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you